HubSpot holds all of your contact, deal, and custom fields. And while this information is still useful outside of your CRM, exporting it wrong can waste a lot of time and create a pretty big mess if not done right. Guys, we are on the Fuse, your elite and most importantly, trusted HubSpot partner. And today we're going to be walking you through everything HubSpot data exports. So in this video, we'll cover what a data export is, the main types of exports that HubSpot offers, step-by-step -step instructions to get your data into Excel or Google Sheets, and best practices in troubleshooting for the most common problems you may run into. Okay, let's jump in. So what is a data export and why does it matter? A data export is the process of taking information out of HubSpot and converting it into another format or platform. Done right, a data export is a strategic function that unlocks serious value. Here are the five key business reasons to export your data. Reason number one, business intelligence. Beyond HubSpot, HubSpot has great dashboards, but sometimes you need to combine your sales data with financial information from outside platforms like QuickBooks or create reports that slice information in ways that HubSpot just wasn't designed for. When you export the raw data, you do the deep analysis your business needs. Two, disaster recovery. Yes, HubSpot backs up their platform, but what happens if there is a sync issue or data corruption or someone deletes something important? Well, having your own copy of all your data means you can restore things quickly without waiting for support tickets. Number three is system integration. Maybe you're migrating to a different CRM or you need to manually sync HubSpot data with your accounting system. Data exporting becomes the bridge between your business systems and brings everything together. Four, compliance requirements. If you're in a regulated industry, you might need to produce data for audits or legal requests. And five, board level reporting. Your board wants to see customer acquisition costs by quarter, but they want it in the same spreadsheet as your advertising spend and revenue data. An export lets you create those cross-functional reports that help make fast, confident business decisions. And guys, if this breakdown is useful, give this a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next HubSpot tips and tricks. Next up, we are digging into the three types of data exports. Let's go. HubSpot offers three main approaches to data export, each with different trade-offs, so let's break them all down now. Method number one is manual exports. A manual export is the most popular choice. You can grab any list, hit export, choose your format, and get an email with your file. It takes about 30 seconds to set up, and this is perfect for one-time polls or monthly reports you don't mind doing by hand. Two is automated exports. You can schedule reports to hit your inbox daily, weekly, or monthly. You can also set up workflows to push data to Google Sheets when specific events happen. This is a little bit less flexible than manual reports, but saves you a lot of time for regular data needs. Three is API exports. So this is the programmatic route here use HubSpot's API to pull data automatically, and it is a little bit more complex to set up, but it gives you precise control over what gets exported and when. There is a limit to 30 exports per day, but you can filter and sort before exporting. Now, no matter which method you choose, it all comes down to what kind of data you need to pull out. So here's what you can get out of HubSpot. First, CRM records. Your contacts, companies, deals, tickets, and custom objects. Then marketing data. This is your email campaign stats, landing page reports, blog posts. For sales activity, you have calls, meetings, and chat conversations. For website content, pages, blog posts as HTML files. Workflows, you can export them as spreadsheets or visual diagrams, form submissions with date ranges, and custom properties. 
than your reports and dashboards. Basically here, any report you can view, you can export from HubSpot, files, everything in your file manager as a zip file. And to make this as easy as possible, we have put together a free HubSpot data export checklist and troubleshooting guide. Guys, inside you'll find steps for pre-export prep, a decision tree to pick the right export method, fixes for common errors, and a security checklist for handling your data safely. Grab your free copy using the link in the description. And now let's dive into how to export your data directly to Excel. Some business owners still rely on Excel for reporting, board decks, and financial reviews. It's powerful, it's familiar, and in many cases, your finance team will ask you for data in Excel format. The great news here is that HubSpot makes exporting to Excel super straightforward once you know the settings to watch out for. So let's walk through the step-by-step -step process to get your data to Excel. So guys, go to your list, whether that's contact list or a company list or whatever you're exporting today, click the list name you want to export, hit the actions drop down in the top right, select export list, then choose your file format, either Excel or CSV, click export, HubSpot emails you a download link within a few minutes, in the file includes all the properties you saw in your list view, plus any custom fields you've set up. Your export will include up to 1 million records per export, all visible properties from your list view, data formatted exactly as it appears in HubSpot, a file delivered via email, which usually arrives in one to five minutes. And here are the limits you need to know before exporting your data. You can run up to three manual exports at once, there is a maximum of 300 exports in a rolling 24 hour period. CSV files automatically zip if they're over two megabytes and Excel S files max out at 65,535 rows while Excel SX can handle up to 1 million rows. And guys, pro tip here. By default, HubSpot only exports properties visible to your current view and a limited number of associated record IDs. So if you need absolutely everything, you need to make sure to select all properties and associations on records in your export dialog. Now, if your team does collaborate in Google Workspace or you want reports that update automatically without a million back and forth emails between your teams, getting HubSpot data into Google Sheets gives you the flexibility to share live dashboards, combine HubSpot data with other sources, and keep your reporting all in one place. There are two main ways to get HubSpot data into Google Sheets. Let's start with the simplest one first. For one-time exports, here's the simple approach. Export your list as a CSV file. Excel formats can get a little bit weird in Google Sheets. Open Google Sheets, go to File, Import, upload your CSV, choose Replace Spreadsheet or Insert New Sheet, set the limiter to comma and click import data. This takes about two minutes total and it works great if you're doing this once or twice. Now, method two. If you need fresh data regularly, you can set up an automated connection. In HubSpot, go to settings, integrations, connected apps, search for Google Sheets and connect. Set up your sync preferences, which objects and how often choose your destination, Google Sheet, and then this keeps your sheets updated automatically, saving you from manually exporting every week for those monthly reports. For heavy duty data syncing, native tools can hit their limits. This is where specialized connectors like Coefficient or Airbyte come into play. These are engineering solutions built to handle enterprise level data flows that have outgrown manual exports. And if you're a business owner or you're leading a department, you're probably already wearing 10 different hats. So if you would like an expert to help you 
you turn data into actual sales, marketing, and operational insights that actually grow your business. Use the link in the description to book a complimentary HubSpot consultation with one of our HubSpot experts. Now guys, let's walk through the best practices to avoid export errors. After helping thousands of businesses with their data, here are the best practices you'll want to follow to prevent any headaches. So let's start with what to do before you even hit that export button. A little prep here can save you hours of cleanup later down the track. First, clean your data. That test contact with the email test at test.com is going to show up on your board presentation if you don't remove it before exporting. So just take five minutes to clean things up. Then understand the relationships between objects. Guys, you need to know how your contacts, companies, and deals connect in HubSpot. A really common problem is lost associations where connections between different types of records don't get preserved unless you explicitly select the right options. Then filter strategically. Please, please don't export 10,000 contacts when you only need 200 that bought something last quarter. Use filters to get exactly what you need. Once you've prepped your data and you're ready to export, here is what to keep in mind. Firstly, choose the right format. First up, there's Excel. So this is for data you'll need to analyze. It comes with up to 1 million rows and 16,384 columns. CSV is for data going into other systems. So there is no column limit here, therefore it is best for large exports. Lastly, XLS, and this is only if required, because there is a limit of 65,535 rows and 256 columns. Second is use consistent naming conventions. So guys, if you're doing this on a monthly basis, use the same file naming pattern. HubSpot contacts, 2024-0115, beats a random file name like contact export when you're searching through all of your past exported data. Even after the file lands in your inbox, your job isn't done yet. So here are the steps to make sure that exported data is clean, secure, and ready to use. First, watch out for the ID problem. Now, don't panic if you see numbers instead of names and feels like deal owner or pipeline stage. HubSpot actually exports internal numerical IDs for performance reasons. You can either do the lookups to match them with labels or create a workflow beforehand to copy human readable values to custom text properties. Second, secure your files. So guys, your data, your customer data shouldn't sit in your downloads folder. Move it somewhere appropriate and delete when done. Also make sure to encrypt sensitive information using tools like 7-Zip, especially if they contain customer data or financial records. Now, if you want a real example of this, make sure to check out this client case study. And if you follow these best practices, you'll avoid most of the common headaches people run into with HubSpot exports. But what if something still goes wrong? Let's go through the most common problems and how to fix them. Even if you follow all the right steps, exports don't always go perfectly. Files come back with missing data, exports time out, or fields show up as numbers instead of names. But don't worry, these are common issues and they all have very straightforward fixes. So let's look at how to solve them quickly. First, missing or incomplete data. The number one problem, data is missing from your exported file. This usually happens because of HubSpot's default setting only exports properties in your current view. Solution, choose all properties and associations on records instead of properties in current view. Second is slow or failed exports. Large exports can take hours and may come as multiple files in a zip. Common causes are file size constraints, use CSV for large data sets, row limits, CLS maxes at 65,000 rows, but CLSX at 1 million. 
API rate limits for automated exports. And for massive data needs, invest in dedicated third-party integration tools. Third are numbers instead of names. So this trips up a lot of business owners, fields like the deal owner show up as numbers instead of names. This isn't a bug, it's how HubSpot works internally. So there's two solutions, a manual solution using the VLOOKUP to match IDs with the names or automated solution where you can actually create a workflow that copies readable values to custom properties before your export. Third is export limits and formats. Now guys, remember key limits here. So manual exports, there's 300 per day, three concurrent exports. For API exports, 30 per day, one at a time, and then CSV files automatically zip if two megabytes of information is being exported and different formats have different row and column limits. Once you've got the basics down and know how to handle the most common problems with data exporting, the next step is making your exports easier and safer. Now automation saves you from running the same reports every week and strong security practices protect the sensitive customer data that you're moving around. So let's break down here when to automate and the security measures every business should have in place. So guys, when do you need to automate? If you're doing the same export monthly for board reports or weekly for sales updates, automation makes sense. You can schedule reports to be emailed daily, weekly, or monthly, set up workflows to push data to Google Sheets when events happen. You can use HubSpot's Operations Hub for more complex automation, or you could even invest in third-party tools for enterprise level needs. Now, your security best practices. When exporting data, there are security risks you need to manage. So first, audit who can export what. Certain bulk exports should require super admin permissions. Set up large export warning notifications so admins can get an alert. And use strong access controls with multi-factor authentication. Encrypt exported files with AES256 encryption. Password protects sensitive files and limit access to only those who need it. And for high volume exporting needs, when you do outgrow HubSpot's native capabilities, if you're hitting API limits or you need continuous syncing or you're dealing with massive data sets, this is where specialist integration tools like Coefficient, Coppler, or Airbyte absolutely become worth the investment. So with the right mix of automation, and security, you will save your business time and keep your customer data safe, turning exports from a manual chore into a reliable business process. And with that, that brings us to our biggest takeaways from this whole video. So our key takeaways, before you export from HubSpot, always plan what data you need and give it a quick cleanup so you're not fixing a lot of mistakes later. Then pick the right format. So remember, it's Excel for analysis, CSV for big data sets, and know the limits so nothing gets cut off. After you export, keep your files secure, make sure to name them consistently so you don't lose them, and if you're running reports regularly, set up automation to save yourself time. And guys, if you find today, found today's video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe. And if you are having data exporting, cleanup, or reporting needs, but you don't wanna to have to spend the time to figure it out yourself, book a 30 minute complimentary HubSpot consultation with one of our HubSpot experts using the link in the description below. During the consultation, we will review your setup, share some quick wins, and show you how to transform HubSpot from a glorified database into your number one growth tool. And if you would like to see how this actually works in practice, we've put together a comprehensive client case study showing you how one of our clients 
used HubSpot's data exports to combine sales and financial data and turned it into board level insights that drove real growth for their business. You will find all of these links in the description below. Guys, that is all for today's video. So we will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.